While one customer providing demand-side flexibility might be very small in the context of an electricity grid, by aggregating lots of customers like this to form a virtual power plant, we can deliver as much power to the grid as many large-scale conventional power plants. A key benefit of this approach is that we can do this while avoiding the cost and carbon emissions associated with building conventional power plants. We didn't have to pour a single ounce of concrete or erect a single pylon in the process. This type of flexibility that we offer is critical for grid operators to be able to use increasing amounts of variable renewable generation. Trying to deliver this flexibility using conventional power plants requires them to run in a less efficient way that actually increases their carbon intensity and negates some of the benefits of the additional renewable energy that they're being used to facilitate. In contrast, a study has shown that each additional megawatt of flexibility delivered from low-carbon technologies like demand-side flexibility over the next five years will offer the same environmental benefit as 6,000 trees over the next 100 years.